surprise. We are underway here, Fire Broth on the right, Zexy on the left. Prediction started in the chat. Gamble your channel points, because gambling is good and wholesome. Just ask Twitch. Here we go, guys. Opening salvo should be razor shields for both, and then we'll see what they can do with what the game gives them. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And as you can see, both indeed using that razor shield, almost identical with the approach, just very in the cold middle, efficient shooting. Oh, a nuke on the feet for Zexy. You don't like to see that that early in the room. But despite that, Zexy will still be out first with a slight lead here. Going to be about a 41 to a 42, almost a 43 here for Ron. So about a second and a half difference, but I mean, an empty drop can swing that one way or the other. And let's see how those first drops are. We've got rockets for Zexy and an invulnerability for Fire Broth. That rocket is a great drop. You can actually ride that through a couple bad ones if you're efficient with the usage of it and your lanes of fire. And so far, nothing really working here for Fire Broth. Just some feet. Could use that invulnerability with the foot here to just plow some enemies. That will help. Uh, Zexy, I think, had a grenade, but had to let it go by. And grenades for both now. Zexy possibly accidentally picking that up and unfortunately didn't really do a whole lot. This nuke could be good for Fire Broth, though. No, it is, but there's even more spawning. But there's an orb. But definitely going to be at a disadvantage heading into the Eat My Shrapnel, which, of course, as you all know, do not want to let your shrapnels pile up like they are on Zexy, but the power-up's not helping until that orb. That orb is important because it allows double firepower for your weapons, so that it allows you to mow down the various enemies here twice as quickly. And at this point, they both have that orb. All they want to do is stay in the middle, get the shrapnels under control, and just whittle down those uh, swarmers so they can maybe chase a good power-up at the end of the room. Uh, eat my shrapnel is 18 shrapnel. You can have a maximum of four on screen at a time. Uh, you don't want to let them build up because they can't keep spawning with that maximum of four. So, got to keep those numbers under control while still controlling the crowd. And yeah, Fire Broth gained some time back there due to Zexy's early issues in the room. So, Look total carnage, my goodness. What a great drop here for Fire Broth and total carnage. That opening razor shield just gives you such protection. It makes the roots. And the spreader on top of it, it just gives you widespread damage as normally a uh, kind of triple shot turns into two triple shots. A sextuple shot, if you will. And even if you won't. This is very true indeed. So as you can see, that razor shield just allowing Firebrot to plow away here at the enemies. A nuke might try to hold for the other room. Good job by Zexy to get through at about a 308. That nuke, not quite enough for fire broth, but the room is basically over. So maintaining contact here with the higher seed. It's about a nine second gap as we head into the secret room for some product placement for Ron. Oh yes, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell. So, let's see what Zexy gets as an opening drop here in tank trouble. What do we get? An invulnerability in a bad spot, wisely ignored by Zexy, but not get rid of either gunner. And a foot for fire broth, not exactly ideal either, although you do want to lose this, but he lost the orb to that shrapnel in the corner. Zexy, meanwhile, lost the orb, but got it back almost immediately. So nice little bonus. Holding the middle here, gets a razor shield, gets to it, has to avoid that shrapnel and bullets. Good job. On Fire Broth, just getting overwhelmed in the upper right corner, trying to take out that second gunner on the wall. And clears the room and now kind of has a reset, in a sense. A blank slate, if you will. A solid job here by Zex. He should be out in about four and a half minutes. Going to be set up very nicely here for the Mutoid Man fight. Uh, with that orb on hand, uh, might be looking to get a ball buster. Yep, if you can place the orb at the top of Mutoid Man's or over the top of Mutoid Man's hitbox at a particular point, it does 40% of one form's worth of damage, I believe. Might be setting up for it here. Let's see. Not yet, still firing away, holding on. It's gonna be tough to land if Mutoid comes any higher. 
I think he hit it. I he got it. it. Yeah, I didn't see any, any orb fly away. So, yeah, no, he did get the damage. A 25-second gap here as Firebroth opens up with grenades. Uh, probably thanks to these empty drops having a bit of a chance, but that ball buster really helping Zexy along here with that 40% of 1-4. It's about 42% to be right on points, like three sevenths if you want to fraction it. Numbers a are spreader hard. here. Here's a spreader for Fireball right on the feet where, uh, ooh, Zexy also saw a spreader and decided not to die for it, but Fireball dies and gets a spreader spawn while Zexy gets an invulnerability. Firebroth getting run over, and just like that, with the transfer damage, final another form spreader. for Zexy. Here's another spreader! Final form for Zexy, though. Is it going to be too little too late for Firebroth? Gets some really nice manual damage. Dies again here. Zexy pounding home shots. This spreader should do it. Another spreader after dying! But I don't think it's going to matter for Firebroth at this point. Final form! Lobber shots pounding home, and Zexy takes the opening match. But this is still pretty doggone good here as Fire Broth now on the final form. It's gonna utilize the nice bank shots of those lobbers and is able to take it out here. So about a 624 for Zexy, and it'll be probably a good, I don't know, 642, 641. All right, so about a 17 second difference. So Firebroth did save some time on that Mutoid Man fight, but not quite enough and is trailing one to nil here in this best of five. Firebroth in tough against an opponent of Zexy's quality, but definitely not intimidated. Went out there and threw down, but tank trouble proved to be too much trouble, giving Zexy a large lead that could not be made up. Yep, tank trouble turned out to be tumultuous for fire broth. So Bry is going to provide the countdown here for match number two. Or I should say game number two in this best of five match. Coming up, we have Telio one against Stormcrow 56K. That is the 8-9 matchup in the winner's bracket. And then we're closing it out with the bonus bracket. As it'll be Seawalker777 taking on Lick Arcade. That is the 18 and 31 matchup. Looking forward to that one. And indeed, we do hear... The Ferran Burgundy dog they're getting punted off the bridge there, whining as it went. Underway, race number two, Zexy Firebroth, both with the Razor Shield. Let's see if the nukes can not cause problems this time. Uh, she's not getting punted off a bridge, but she is uh, staring at, uh, at the desk here where there are some well-placed uh, maple dog bones. So she's a Canadian at heart. That makes sense. Half Canadian yourself. And now my phone is barking, so all kinds of dog action going on here. And it's pretty much a dead heat, but a slight fire broth leading to collect power-ups. Would you say that between these two, it's a dog fight? This race is really going to the dogs. Let's see who the, what the drops will look like. A rocket on fire broth side has to fight to it. Grenades for Zexy. I think Zexy's just going to ignore them. Yeah, less than ideal weapon to start off. Usually, you'd only see them being grabbed on a more aggressive stance just to try to chase for a better weapon. And, well, it doesn't... More rockets here. Firebroth should be able to ride these to the end of the room. Meanwhile, Zexy's getting no real help. What a great opener for Firebroth. 122 and eat my shrapnel. Can use these rockets to clean up the early shrapnel. Can control the room. More rockets. Just crap. The Malk is flowing early here. And more rockets here, Ferran. Can you wow. Them? I mean, obviously, Zexy wants to... Oh, Zexy gets shrapneled with rockets oh, on Oh, no. Hey, what do you know? Firebroth got more rockets as a nice change of pace. And a Razor Shield as well. 
utterly useless at this not really, point. Yeah, not really useful at this point of the room, but still a nice thing to see. But no orb, that's the real concern here. Firebath having some trouble with that last rocket. Meanwhile, Zexy is struggling mightily with the shrapnels and is losing a lot of time here. Early Razor Shield Firebath can ride these early rockets and Oh, not able to get the shrapnel in the corner thanks to the razor shield. So the game kind of giving and taking a little bit. Meanwhile, able to get the spreader is Zexy. And an orbit the feet. This is the break that Zexy needed because right now, unless those weapons keep falling, Fireball eventually going to start losing ground here. Apologies for that slight connection issue here. What am, what am I not recently? But hey, Firebroth is seen finally getting something here. Looks like it's been a lot of just, eh. Okay, I was checking my connection to make sure that it wasn't me. I, I wasn't 100% sure, but Firebroth utilizing the last little bit of the razor shield and clears out the room and is going to be out at about a 319. But that, that, that big gap has lessened considerably. It's about a seven second gap now, so what was that? Uh, 19 seconds or so, or 15 seconds made up by Zexy? Not too shabby. Yeah, I'm not up for calculations at this particular point. 344 into tank trouble, and it'll be about a 351. So, yeah, about an eight second difference heading into tank trouble for our runners here, and. Well, uh, invulnerabilities and more invulnerabilities for Fire Broth, but there's some rockets. Does get the rocket train started again. Let's see if they can keep going. A foot to follow, and Zexy does drop the orb and has not got rid of a gunner. There goes one of them, but still not great here for Zexy. Great movement, though, on Zexy's part, avoiding the shrapnel, avoiding the firepower of the tanks, the gunners. It, it's a bit of a dance, to say the least. It's a tough room for sure. Oh, a oh. range shield, but gets sniped. But look at this. Firebroth out at 433. That lead will have grown for sure, based on how much Zexy's been struggling with tank trouble. Well, the game stuck it to Firebroth in the first matchup, and now Zexy kind of getting the bit of the business here as well. Doggy Burgundy feeling really bad here for Zexy. Firebroth gets sniped by Mutoid Man, and then blocks the grenades. That's a 27 second lead, but Firebroth has done almost nothing to Mutoid Man here in Burgundy. Yeah, the drops have not been great, and now we've got some grenades here and gets run over again, able to take out that other gunner. Meanwhile, a spreader on the far side for Zexy. Oh, game. Trying to get rid of the gunner does get it done before picking it up. A smart move there. Make it much safer to try to manual on YouTube man. And it's basically a dead heat. The lead is all but gone. Mutoid is oh, gonna mutoid, but there's spreaders for chance. both. And yeah, much better position for Firebroth. Firebroth able to get it. Uh backed off a little early. Some of the newer runners. This was pointed out by um I believe 41 in a match. They tend to back off when that red shield shows up. And another spreader. Oh my goodness. Firebroth is getting a lot of good stuff here. Another oh, spreader. Coltoid sitting on it for Zexy, but finally able to get it a little too late. Chest popped open for both. But another spreader for Firebroth opens the lead again. I don't think Firebroth's going to reach those rockets, though. Here's a chance for Zexy to catch up, especially with that continue. Does not get to the rockets. And now there's grenades. Head popped off for both. Empty drop on Zexy's side, final form on Firebroth's side. Firebroth will need one more weapon after this, possibly two. Oh, grenades on the feet. You don't like to have a weapon drop on you like that. Oh, that could have maybe screwed Firebroth over here. Let's see. Great grab by Zexy and does it die? This might have been the move, but no. No, Firebroth, Firebroth takes it. Woo. Firebroth holds on that tank trouble again, giving such a lead to the person going into Mutoid Man's room able to hold on 653 
to six. 56 or seven. All told, maybe about a three and a half second difference. And that is going to even it up at one. Just the point I was trying to make earlier, uh, newer runners tend to see that red shield for your last bit back off, but you have about two seconds of red shield of vulnerability and you can deal a lot of damage in that time if you're willing to risk it running it a little bit longer. Yeah, it is a bit of a tight rope walk and some people prefer a little bit thicker of a net underneath, I suppose. But that spreader damage does so much, you really, really want that. So we are evened up at one apiece. Number three. Good luck. Yeah, race number three. Now, what led them to these respective points here? Zexy beating the 27 seated Aquas three to one. Uh, Fire Broth pulling off a at least slight upset in seed numbering form, as I think all of these runners have. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they could be reseeded by this point, given how much the personal best times have changed. But Fire Broth beating the 11 seeded Space Colonizer, just edging out Colonizer three to two. So we'll see if Fire Broth can continue the... Uh, this is your Cinderella story of the bracket thus far. Absolutely. Fire Broth coming in a little unheralded, maybe, of all the rookies. A little uh, overlooked, perhaps, but really throwing down uh, with these opponents. We're underway here. Game number three of this best of five matchup. Zexy and Fire Broth. One looking for a spot in round number three. Another looking to maybe end up down in uh, the... Second chance bracket in round number two down there. Uh, either way, both of them looking like they could take home some cash and drop. Most certainly. The winner of this matchup will advance to the third round to take on the winner of 40 watt range and drum boardist. The loser will fall to that second chance bracket and take on the winner of music and gaming and Akarasi, the 32 and 17 seed. So yes, neither of these racers will be eliminated tonight, uh, but they definitely want to win and keep I'm getting infuriated by this connection. Oh, anyway, Razor Shield for Zexy. Yep, and Fire Broth with rockets and razor shields. You like to see it. It's actually using the nuke to clear the room here. And it's pretty much a dead heat into Eat My Shrapnel. Dead heat indeed, but the uh, early uh, drops really favoring Fire Broth for cleaning up the room. But Zexy does a great job. Both should be able to control the room now, no problem. My shrapnel is one of those funny rooms. It's an easy enough room, but if you're lacking those power-ups, it becomes a horror show as you just bleed time all over the place. So with that said, guys, this is indeed the third game of five. And look at this. Only about a, what, a one-second gap here into Total Carnage. A oh, nice spin to get most of that circle of swarmers to start on Fire Broth's side. Both holding on to the orb, at least for the moment. Rockets over on Fire Broth's side and is able to get back to the middle of the room. And now we're Lexi shield. doing, trying to do a lot with a little here. If you have efficient fire, you can get have a load of mid-50 uh, total carnage for the top runners, but... It's a difficult room to stay focused and keep your kill rate up unless you're getting some help. And right now the help is landing on Fireboff's side. Now we have a question from chat. Are these shrapnel, are they sent out at timed intervals? It depends on the room. This room, it's a timed interval, so they max out at three at a time. Uh, generally you want to ignore them unless you have an opportunity to kill some, so you're not stuck with a bunch at the end of the room. And look at this, despite the advantage, it's a dead heat in the secret room. 
uh, Zexy making do and a little more efficient with the kill rate caught up a little. Wow, this is about as even of Taco Bell, Taco Bell product placement with Taco Bell as we're gonna get. This is Enchirito and Nacho Burrito. And on to Master Tank. We'll see what they're doing here. Well, here's hoping that it's equal footing as well. Rockets to start so they can clean the room up. We have the vulnerability in a foot. Neither one's great. Well, if the game's going to bring on some disdain, at least it's doing so equally. Zexy with a great idea there. Use the invulnerability to walk across the mines to an open area up top in the room to get to the middle. Well done. But the power-up's now for Fire Broth. Rockets, spreader, rockets. Gotta love it. And it's just making mincemeat of the enemies here. Great job dancing to get out of the way, take care of a few of those swarmers, the tanks. More rockets now for Fire Broth. Razor, razor Shield and Spreader, more rockets for Fire Broth, ripping apart the enemies. But despite these drops, Zexy, able to control the middle a little better, is in the Mutoid Man's room with the lead. This is unbelievable here. We have a chance, potentially, for two sub-sixes. Never happened in a tournament before for Ron. We'll have to wait and see. Both taking out the gunners here with the drops they have early. Not weapons you really want, though. Well... Firebroth trying for the orb damage. Another Doesn't spreader get it. for Firebroth! I can't believe this RNG! And here's one for Zexy! Wow! But Zexy not getting as much cooperation from Mutoy Man. Great manual by Firebroth. And then Zexy gets another spreader at a great location. And it's probably it's taking the lead! Zexy oh is taking the goodness. lead! And a glitch toyed! A glitch toy to boot here. Lobber's being fired. Zexy goes down late, but should get those grenades. Firebroth dies. Will not get those rockets. Waiting for a drop. It's a spreader, but can't die for it. His vulnerability would last too long. Now manualing has taken uh, or gotten back into near equal footing. Trying to go more manual. Gets run over. Zexy photo. Spreader on the feet. Spreader on the feet. Unbelievable luck here, boys and girls. Can say unbelievable. Stolen at the last wow. by a spreader on the feet. Can you believe it, Burgundy? This is just absolutely jaw dropping here. Firebroth's going to take game three at 553. Firebroth goes sub six. Firebroth gets a sub six. That's a PB, a 19th member of the sub six club in a tournament race. Unbelievable. Wow, what an insane race that was. Firebroth is now sitting. Our 22 seed is up two to one on the six seed with a chance to make it to the second weekend of March Madness here. Cinderella story. Can you believe this, guys? Can you believe this? I I, I am I am just absolutely in shock here. Yeah, uh, wow, wow at this point. Fire Broth has definitely, forget March Madness, this is April Anarchy. So, Bry is taking care of the countdown here. We have already seen a PB, a sub six. Yeah, you don't have me speechless too often. You're certainly right about that, Bobski. But trying to recollect myself as best I can, uh, Fire Broth is one win away from advancing to the third round of the winner's bracket, pulling off a potential additional upset here. Zexy looking to even it up and force the deciding game five. Craziness. Absolute craziness. If somebody has it, there's a clip right there. Somebody dropped that into the top 10 suggestions on my Discord. That one's going to make the top 10. There's no way ands, ifs, or buts about it. That's making the top 10 for the final broadcast of the tournament. I'm calling that right now. We are underway. Race number four. Firebroth looking to clinch a date in the third round here. Man, what do you do for an encore after that? 
clearly you just set the world record. Like what else is left to do at that point? It's just nuts. Absolutely crazy. Look at this opener from Zexty. This is fantastic. It's going to be a 30. It's a 37. It's a high 37 for Zexy. Oh my. Good luck. You'll need it. For that first room, a 37 is an amazing number. Uh, the world record is currently something a 512-ish. Somewhere in that range. Uh, someone's going to go sub 510 sooner than later, though. Too many people playing. Zexy gets an orb pretty early. This could be a potentially massive exit time coming up here. Just needs one more good drop to help clean up those shrapnel. Meanwhile, nothing really happening for Firebroth here. Uh, Zexy's ag good recognition. Spotted that shrapnel blowing up as the room ended. A 123, pretty solid. A late orb here for Firebroth in collect power-ups. Was able to game it out, but it's about a nine second lead here for Zexy. So advantage Zexy facing elimination wants to take, maintain, and build that lead, Burgundy. Well, Firebroth able to utilize the Razor Shield here and can focus the firepower on the shrapnel and just let those swarmers swarm their way right into that Razor Shield. It's kind of uh, killing a few birds with a, a Razor Stone, I suppose. And uh, for those wondering, Cards is laying down all the perfect knowledge there in the chat like he always does. Very knowledgeable, Cards fan. Been with us since the first tournament and uh, just laying it all down. Someone's going to get that tournament record. It's going down. Just have to wait and see who's going to get it. Either way, we are in to Total Carnage where the real tough stuff begins. There's an early nuke for Zexy. I don't think Zexy's going to use it. Just going to ignore and clean up here. Both doing a good job of holding the middle. But Zexy a little more efficient right now with that lead, probably adding to it here. And now a spreader, but it's way out of the way and Firebroth not gonna give up the middle and is just gonna leave it be. That's the right move in that situation. You lose the middle, at best you're coming back even with that spreader and more likely you're gonna lose a bit of time. Rockets here for Zexy, gonna help clean up some mess. Oh, they're great to finish through, missed the shot, but should still be Yes, it's about a three flat into the bonus room. Zexy in excellent shape and has rockets on board for the start of tank trouble. You love that. Firebroth still trying to take care of Total Carnage. Again, doesn't want to give up the middle. And there's it just avoids the explosion on the shrapnel and is going to be about 19 seconds behind into the secret room. It was, it was a good job by Firebroth, but right now Zexy had a good start and it's just built out. A razor shield in the middle. Zexy getting the luck right now. Rockets to follow! This oh my could, gosh. This could be a sub four if the drops.